Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot and today I'm super stoked because I get to unbox, review, and grow with the Phytomax 2800. So what is the Phytomax 2800? The Phytomax 2 series is made by Black Dog LED and it's comprised of the Phytomax 200, 400, 600, 800, and 1000. So you can see that I'll be growing with one of the larger Black Dog LED lights. Uh, the Photomax 2 series was reviewed by me um, on our YouTube channel, so you can check out that review. It's about 30 minutes and covers everything about the Photomax 2 series. This review, this video will specifically be focusing on the Photomax 2 800 only. So I will be growing with this light and you can follow this grow on YouTube, on Facebook, or on Instagram. So all those links to our social media channels are in the description. So go ahead and um, click those and make sure you're subscribed to us and you follow us on those channels. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box. You can see that it's a very well packaged, it's double boxed, and around the edges here we have some uh, little air packets, and then now to the meat and potatoes. some instructions. Looks like all the information that you need to know about this light, such as hanging heights, par values, just about all that. So very helpful stuff. Got a power cord. Got some free Black Dog LED hangers. It's always a perk. And then some metal hangers that are going to attach to the light. Okay, and here's the Phytomax 2800. So I'm gonna turn off the camera, I'm gonna pull this out and get this set up so you can see it. This is the front of the Phytomax 2800. You can see all the diodes lined up. It's a big panel. I'm coming around to this side. Massive heat sinks, about the length of my thumb, maybe a little bit shorter. So these heat sinks are drawing the heat off of the five watt diodes and blowing them out this side. So large heat sinks are good because they help extend, extend the life of the diodes. Here's the back of the Phytomax 2800 talking about, um, you know, just not looking at the light, wearing protective glasses if you can. There's that power switch. And on this side is the intake. So this is where the air comes in. Air goes over the heat sinks and out the other side as I just showed you. So four total. Okay, so now we have the light out of the box. I noticed when I picked up the light that this thing was actually really heavy. So it's right around 50 pounds, which means that it's built like a tank. There's extremely large heat sinks inside, a very sturdy case. Um, you know, if you dropped it, it probably wouldn't do anything and probably just get a little ding on it unless you dropped it on the diodes which I don't recommend doing so be careful. Um, so I just want to show you a few of the specs here. Um, so flowering footprint is up to a 6x6 six six foot area. Max veg footprint about 7.5 by 7.5 foot area. So this light can cover quite the space. Uh, 50 pounds, 840 watt draw at the wall. 336 5 watt diodes. 50,000 hour lifespan, uh, seven amps on 120 volts or 3.5 amps on 240 volts. 
Light output, 1,282 micromoles per second. And this is one last thing I wanna show you on here. So common footprint co coverage and the average PPFD that you're gonna get at these coverage areas. So for the four x four space that I'll be growing in, I can expect a 743 micromole per meter squared per second uh, PPFD, which is actually really good. Um, obviously the larger you get, the lower that number's gonna go down. But one thing I like about Black Dog is that they report the average PPFD, not the hot spot in the middle. So obviously it's gonna be more than 743 in the center, but I mean, this is what I can expect over the entire four x four area on average. So I really like that. And then I just wanna show you the light real quick. So I'm gonna switch this on. Bam. So this camera doesn't do it justice. Obviously the light is a lot brighter than what it looks like on the camera. The camera adjusts and dims it down. So, you know, you don't wanna look at the light. I mean, I'm looking at it from like a 45 degree angle and it's still pretty bright, but you look at it head on and this would probably do some eye damage. Also, there's a UVA in there. Um, so I don't, you know, recommend looking at it for too long. Um, although UVA is not too bad, UVB is the stuff that you don't want to look at, which this light does not have any UVB. The spectrum ranges all the way from UVA to infrared, so full spectrum LED grow light. And uh, yeah, looks uh, really nice. Looks like this is going to do really well in the 4x4 space. I hope you enjoyed this brief review of the Fido Max 2 800. Remember, I'm gonna be growing with this light, so make sure you subscribe, or you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. See you guys soon.